Dobrý deň, dámy a páni. Vítam vás na tejto tlačovej konferencii. Dnes sme sa po šiestikrát stretli takto krajiny východného partnerstva a krajiny Vyšeradskej štvorky. Je to zároveň už šiestikrát, keď Vyšeradská štvorka organizuje toto stretnutie. Sme jediným regionálnym fórom v Európskej únii, ktoré sa pravidelne stretáva s našimi partnermi z východného partnerstva. A zároveň je to v poradi siedme a posledné podujatie na úrovni ministrov zahraničných vecí, ktoré organizujeme v rámci slovenského predsedníctva. We all share the view that the summit has to reaffirm the purpose of Eastern Partnership and the cooperation between the European Union and Eastern Partners in order to build a prosperous, secure and stable Eastern Partnership to support reform process, to support those countries that have concluded association agreements with the European Union, namely Ukraine, Moldova and Georgia. And I think that we have had a very frank and good discussion today on what should be deliverables. We are still working on the Riga Declaration text. It was a very useful exchange on some of topics. I believe that in Riga we will be able to deliver on very concrete results and very concrete roadmap for the future. First of all, I do believe that we all agree that Eastern Partnership needs more differentiation. We have a basic framework, basic framework of values, we have a basic aim of cooperation, but then we have also different level of interest of our partners in cooperation with the European Union. Uh, especially I want to say that uh, Riga should deliver more concrete results and uh, a roadmap towards mobility or visa liberalization and facilitation for different partners. I also believe that we can open, and this could be and will be, we still have a week, time uh, reflect on new areas of cooperation, for instance, energy. Um, at the same time, of course, uh, we should understand, and here I absolutely want to echo what uh, Miroslav just said, that Eastern Partnership is not directed against anyone. Eastern Partnership is about, first of all, relations between European Union and Eastern Partners in order to find the ways how to cooperate on different levels, but also on different issues. We are having this summit in a completely different framework for the last one. Uh, for good and for bad, I would say. Uh, on the negative side, it's clear that the security situation in our eastern uh, partnership area has deteriorated significantly. For the positive side, we've also uh, now, today, developed much stronger, much deeper uh, corporations, partnerships with each and every of the six partners we have in our east, eastern neighborhoods. Uh, with many and important achievements. I think that the summit will be a good chance to uh, very openly, very pragmatically, uh, very concretely uh, discuss on the way forward as we have developed all these important and significant achievements. We have to continue working in this practical, concrete way for the benefit, uh, as we would say, of our everyday people, the normal people, the citizens we have, in all different sectors, from mobility to economic and trade cooperation, from connectivity, as we say, or transport cooperation to energy, uh, to many other things. <laughs> Thank you.